for phase one. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we're going to make stuffed shells. And we're going to make them two different ways. And you're going to see how. But then again, I guess it's in the title. Okay, so you're going to need a box of these shells. One egg. We're going to use some ricotta cheese, some basil, some Worcestershire sauce, garlic salt, Mrs. Dash, some garlic. We're going to use some marinara. Use any kind of marinara sauce you want. And if all you got is spaghetti, we can substitute and make it work too. All right, use what you have. We're going to use this steak seasoning. I've got so many of these from when I've gotten some Omaha steaks. So I've still got a couple of these containers left and I'm going to use them. Any type of Italian seasoning that you have, a cup of red onion, a cup of my bell pepper medley, red, yellow, and orange. We're going to be using some mozzarella cheese. We're going to use this Italian style because it has the provolone and all of that in it. We're going to use some Mexican style cheese. We're going to use some fresh, fresh spinach, but you can also use the frozen. It won't hurt. And then I'm going to use this big thing of hamburger meat, which is the two pounds. Here is your shot. Let's try to get it all in there of everything we're going to use. All right, you guys, let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is put those onions in there. I'm going to put those bell peppers in there. And I may just, depending on how much meat I got left, I may make another type of shell for you. And I'm pretty sure I'll have plenty left over. So we're going to go in with the rest of that seasoning that I have, the Italian seasoning. That's the end of that little container there, and that's about a tablespoon. We're going to do the same with the steak sauce, about a tablespoon. We're going to cook this brown meat once, and then we're going to separate it and do some other things to it. About a tablespoon of the garlic salt. Same with Mrs. Dash. And then we're going to do the same with the basil, about a tablespoon. And then we're going to go in with some of these Worcestershire sauce. All right. And then all we're going to do at this point, break this meat up and get all of this cooked up, browned up. So this is going to take us about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and brown this up. And while we're doing this, keeping in mind, let's go ahead and get those, that, uh, those shells cooking. Get them in a pot of water, get them boiled. Not completely, just al dente. So take off a couple of minutes, whatever the time is on the box. Take off two minutes, then take them out and rinse them, okay? You want to rinse them off, get them cooled off so we can handle them, all right? So I've got my water boiling now. So we're going to go about 10 minutes. And we're just going to break this up, brown it up. 10 minutes. That's all it takes. I'll be back. All right. So I've started what we're going to do through the first batch of hamburger meat. I divide it in half, put half in one skillet, the other half in this one. I left it in there. And so I'm going to wilt this on up. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. So we're going to wilt this up in this pan. But we're not going to put spinach in the other one. I'll be right back. It hasn't even been a minute and see how much that spinach is wilted down. Feel free to use the frozen kind, but just make sure you drain it very well if you choose to do that. All right. Like I always say, there's nothing you buy out there on those streets that you can't make at home. I'm telling you. I'll be right back. Now to this pan, I put in, that is a cup of mozzarella and that is a cup of the Italian blend. And now I'm just going to let that melt. And this is going to be our Philly cheesesteak one. All right. I'm just going to let that melt, and then once those shells are completely done, because they're still cooking, then we're going to go back, and we're getting ready to build. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I put a tablespoon of garlic in our Philly cheesesteak one, as well as our marinara one. And I'm just going to turn the fire off and mix it up on both of these, drain these and rinse them, and then we're going to start building. I'll be right back. One other thing, I am going to put a little bit of that marinara in here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to stir that around. Now we're going to start building. I'll be right back. All right, the ricotta cheese and the egg is in there. I'm going to put in, I would say, a cup, <laughs> about a cup of the Mexican style, che style cheese. And then I'm going to go in with about the same amount, which is a handful for me, of that cheese as well. And then we're just going to mix it together. I'm using a fork, a fork, a fork. You can use whatever you want. I just find that a fork breaks it up well for me. And then we're just going to mix that all together. And then we're going to start building. 
All right. I've already got those shells mixed up. Mixed up. Now she's going to get her words right. I've already got the shells off the heat, and I've got them rinsed with cold water. Like I said, to make them easier to handle. All right. And here we go. Let me get my dishes. I'll be right back. All right, first thing first, you want to put a little bit of that marinara in the bottom of your dish. Helps with the stick. And spread it all around. Okay. And that's what we want to do. Get it all in the bottom of that dish there. Then we're going to grab one of these wonderful little shells. I'm going to stick some of that meat mixture in there. All right. Then we're going to take a little bit of that cheese mixture that we made. Put it right on top of that. Okay. Whoops. Not flopping in the dish like I just did. Do a couple more of these so you can see what I'm doing. that right on top all right and then just keep going I'm going to do some with the Philly cheese but when I get ready to do those I'll come back and show you those these are so delicious it looks like a little bit of work but it's really not And then just keep going. I'll be back. Okay, I'm done. As you can see, yum yum. I'm telling you, you better make some. So I'm going to take that marinara and I'm going to sprinkle it all about what we've got left. I'm just going to take it and sprinkle it all about. Yes, I am. Because we don't want that shell to get hard while it's baking because we're going to put this in the oven on 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes pretty much just enough time to let that cheese melt on up and that's what we're going to do okay and you definitely want to make sure you get that marinara all about i'm sorry about the clinking i apologize but yes, you definitely want to get that marinara all about. Okay, and then we're going to also put some cheese on here too. Just a little bit more cheese. You don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to take that Mexican style, or you can use cheddar on this. I just like the blends of the both. The blends of the both. Just create some new words, girl. Jar's right in the way, isn't it? There we go. that cheese on there and put it in the oven uncovered about 15 minutes 20 minutes depending on your oven just to melt the cheese that's all we're doing at this point we're just going to melt the cheese and there she goes i'll put her in the oven while she's baking we'll get the other one going i'll be right back all right with this one i'm going to spray the bottom of this dish and the sides with my butter spray that you know i love use any spray that you have any spray will do. All right. And then we're going to start building these. And we're doing the same process. We're just not adding the cheese in it. All right. Look at that pull. If I can get it in there without having to break up too much cheese, I might have to use my hands. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to put on gloves. I've got this sucker good and cheesy. <laughs> My hands are going to get good and nasty and I don't want it up my nails. So, I'm just going to break it up myself and stuff it in there. Put a little bit more in there. Philly cheesesteak. And I'm not going to make that many of these because my daughter wants some of this to do something else with. Yes, she does. Whatever. You see how cheesy that is? Now you see why I had to use my hands? I'll be here all day trying to pick this thing apart. 
All right, and that's all I'm doing. All right, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. All right, my daughter's gonna probably make some sub sandwiches with the rest of it. Who am I to say no, right? And we're just gonna take that mixture of the cheese and we're just gonna sprinkle that all about. And this is the one that has just the Italian cap, okay? It has the provolone in it. Mozzarella, whatever else it has in here. What is it? Parmesan. Yeah, it's a good mixture. All right. So we're just going to put that in the oven. Same amount of time. 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. Just to melt the cheese. I'll be back. All right. Here's the first one. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Please like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Look at that. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. I'll take a couple of them out and put a, take a picture. <laughs> okay? Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Know that you're going to see Gigi on the next one. But I gotta let him cool down a little bit, okay? Take care, you guys. Phase one.